Welcome to BalsaCircle.com, your one-stop shop for all of your event decor. Today we'll be showing you how to make this gorgeous macrame table runner that's perfect for boho weddings, farmhouse tables, or just for decorating your table or home. We'll need a few things to get started and the most important is the rope. We're using a 4mm lamb's wool bonnie braided macrame craft cord and you also want a nice long stick or a wooden dowel. Just in case, all the tool details will be listed in the description below. So out of this cord, we cut 24 pieces that were 16 feet each, so about 128 yards overall. To start, you want to take one piece and fold it in half, and once you find that middle, you want to tie a knot about 10 inches from that middle fold. Just a simple knot will work. These will be the edges of our table runner. Then we have our stick here. We're using a leftover balloon stick that's 15.5 inches long. And for easy assembly, we hung it up, but you can just do this on the table as well. So we're taking one of those 24 pieces that we tied off the edges and placing it over the stick with the knot on top. And you want to do the same with all the rest of the pieces. Once you have them over the stick, again, that knot is going to be resting on top of the stick or wooden dowel, but so they don't get in the way or move around too much, we're just going to secure them together. You can tie them off with a ribbon or use a clip here or a rubber band, whatever is easier for you. And now the fun part and also the part that's going to take the longest. So we're taking a piece of cord about 24 to 36 inches across just go ahead and eyeball it across the 24 pieces that you have. And we're tying a knot around each half of the cord piece and then pulling it so the knot is taut and it's not going to unravel. Now this knot actually has a specific name. It's called a half hitch knot. The half hitch knot is a simple overhand knot where the end of a cord is brought over and under. If it's not obvious how we're tying it here in the video, check the description below for more details on how to tie this knot. And you just wanna do this on each hanging piece of cord going across all 24 pieces. That's how you'll connect them together and create the starting base of your runner. Now macrame can be a very soothing activity for some people. This part takes a little bit of patience. Like I said, it is the longest part, but once you practice a little bit, the whole process will just click. For the second layer, we're taking four pieces of the hanging cords and the one that's furthest from the edge, looping it around the two that are in the middle and then bringing it up. Then the same loop, but starting from the outside cord and bringing it up as before. And this time pulling the cords tight and closer to the top. This again has a specific name. It's called a square knot. There are a few variations of this knot in macrame, so if yours looks a little bit different, it's okay. You can actually use another knot if you want for this part, but you just have to work it out as far as bath. You want one that will use all the 24 pieces. And again, continue all the way across and you'll have 12 knots all together. For the next row, you want to leave off two pieces and repeat the same square knot across. We're going to pick up those two pieces on the next row and just alternate the design. This also connects the rows together, so you don't just have like a, a curtain of hanging rope, it's more of a net. Also here, you can decide how far you want each layer to be from one another. If you want a more dense look, then you can go for a shorter distance. The great thing about macrame is that you can really get creative with it. If you've been on Instagram, it's really the breakout trend of 2019. Almost like people just like us are rediscovering the craft and not just for boho weddings, but also for home decor. You've probably seen plant macrame hangers or maybe even macrame jewelry. And we've even seen these as wall decorations at craft stores or again on Instagram. There's just so many variations and you can make them as long as you want. Now, obviously, since this is a runner, we're going for length here. So here we are the next row and we're picking up those two row pieces that we left off before and adding them back in, repeating our square knots as before. If you do end up making this, please share it with us either in the comments or tag us on Instagram. We're at Balsa Circle. We love seeing these DIY projects in the wild and all the different ways people adapt them to their home or event. 
You all inspire us just like we hope to inspire you. Now we did a little bit of research, so if you're a history buff, you'll know that macrame didn't just start now. It was a way of weaving tapestries and textiles as far back as the third century and got really popular in Europe, especially with sailors, which makes sense, you know, long time on a boat, you're gonna need to find a hobby. And then it came back into fashion around the 70s when people sort of realized, hey, you can use it for home decor and it just kind of took off from there. So not only are you going to have a beautiful table runner by the end of this video, but you can also impress your friends with a little bit of history. As you get closer to the end, there's not a set measurement here. Just as long as you want the runner to be, it's up to you. But you want to take another piece of rope, again 24 to 36 inches long, and repeat the half hitch knot again across like at the beginning before we started the square knots. And once you've done that, you can take the runner off the wooden dowel or the stick and untie the knots and cut the edges. And that is it, you are done. You can decorate your head table, or if you have a few rectangular tables in a row, you can place this runner over them. It's really such an eye-catching piece that no matter how you decide to style it, it's going to look gorgeous especially pairing it with natural textures or greenery will make it look so beautiful. Let us know what you would pair this macrame runner with in the comments or if you'll be making it for your home or event. This DIY project is definitely one of the longer ones just because tying the knots takes a little bit of time. So this isn't something you'll likely do last minute, but again, it could be a very zen-like activity. And you can always start and come back to it later because once you have those top knots secure, it's not going to unravel. And if you're having a hard time with this or finding time, why not have a DIY night with your friends so you sort of have a great excuse on working on something creative like this. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have an idea on how to make your very own macrame runner. And if you found this video helpful, make sure that you like it, share it with a friend, and subscribe for all of your creative decor and event ideas. Until next time, stay creative.